But the one thing I knew was that we only had one shot at it. I mean, there's no, there's no do-overs when you raise children. Uh, you've got to get it right the first thing, time. So one of the things I thought I wanted to do was to show Sydney some of the things she should expect from, um, from relationships that she was going to be engaged with. I had this bright idea that every three to four months, I would take her to lunch or to dinner. I would take her out on a date. And I wanted her to show her the things she should expect uh, from men as, who dated her in the future. We would go out, I would, I would dress up, I would clean up, I opened every door, the door to the car, the door to the establishment we were going to, we sat down and had engaging conversation. And I talked to her about even dating, the things that I knew that were coming up in her life. One thing I told her was that if any boy ever pull up in my driveway and blow his horn, he must be dropping something off because he ain't picking up a damn thing. <clears throat> yep. One of the things I told her was that, and I told this to Andy as well, year and a half, and she knows what I mean. Don't come tell me that you're marrying anyone that you haven't dated, not just known, but dated for at least a year and a half. Because in a year and a half, you're gonna see everything. You're gonna see them in good times, you're gonna see them in bad times, and you're gonna see how they respond to those things. And in a year and a half, the real person is going to shine through. And after that year and a half, if you still want to marry that person, it must be a good match. 